Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out four pro controller player settings and rating them on a scale of 1 to 10. The four pro players are going to be FaZe, Sway, Day, Marrow, and Lechi, so go ahead and write in the comments who you think has the worst settings and who you think is going to have the best settings. Let's waste no more time and get right into the video. Alright, so before we try out any pro settings, let's see what it looks like when I free build on my settings to start. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, if you want to see my settings, I do have videos posted on my channel with my full settings, so check that out if you want. So the first pro settings that we're going to be trying out is going to be Day, so let's get into that. Alright, here's the settings that Day uses. So Day uses a 1.9 build and a 1.9 edit. He uses a 43 horizontal, 43 vertical. He uses 9.9 for both horizontal and vertical ADS, and then he uses a 10.10 dead zone sense. So as you can see, they're all very, very similar, like his horizontal and vertical are all the same. So let's see how this feels. I feel like really fast on his settings. I don't know why. I really like his settings. His settings do feel a lot like mine. Like if you hadn't told me, I would have probably thought that I hadn't changed my settings. Yeah, these settings feel really, really good. They do feel a little slower than mine, but I do have to say that my edits feel a lot more controllable on this setting. Yeah, so overall, Day has some really good settings. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate Day's settings a solid 8.5 out of 10. The only downfall of his settings that I don't like is that I feel a little slow. Like I feel like the edit sense could be a little faster, but with that said, I do feel very consistent with my edits. Like my, like my crosshair placement feels really good. So yeah, 8.5 out of 10. Okay, so the next pro settings that we're gonna be trying out is gonna be Marrow. So Marrow uses a 2.1 build mode and a 2.2 edit mode, which is the exact same as mine. But the thing is he uses a 43 horizontal and 43 vertical, which is a little faster than mine, but it's the same as Days. But Day's settings are a little slower here, so that's why it feels the same as mine. Because this is higher, but these are lower. For Marrow, these are the same and these are higher. So I'm expecting that this sense is going to be a little fast. And his aim down speed is an 8 horizontal, 8 vertical, like or a 10 vertical. I don't really like that because I like these to be the same. Um, and then his dead zone is a 8, 10 as well. So let's see how this feels. Oh my gosh, I feel so fast. Oh, I really like Marrow settings. My edits feel so much faster. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure it's just because he has a little faster uh, edit mode sensitivity than Day. You know, I do feel really fast on these sensitivities, but I do feel like my crosshair placement is a little worse. Uh, just because the edit mode sense feels a little fast for me, that's why I feel so fast on the settings, but I do feel like the crosshair placement does struggle a little bit. Don't get me wrong, these are still very, very good settings, but um, I just think they're a little bit too fast. Yeah, so on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate Marrow settings a little lower than Days. I would give them an 8, just because my edits do feel really fast. But yeah, like like I said, my crosshair placement, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel as good. So yeah, 8 for Marrow settings, still very good settings, but let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next pro settings that we have is no other than Phase Sway. So Phase Sway has some really, really fast settings. He uses 2.3, 2.3 for build mode and edit mode, which is faster than everybody else we've tried so far. And he also uses a 49.49 for look sensitivity, which is also much faster than everybody else so far. On top of all of that, also, yeah, uses a 12.9 for aim down sights. Although I'm not testing out their aim settings, I'm still going to show you guys. But maybe in a different video, I'll test out Pro's aiming settings. But also on top of that, Phase Sway uses a 5% dead zone for his left stick and his right stick, which is just insane to me. Um, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of stick drift on 5.5 five dead zone, but we'll, we'll find out, I guess. So, uh, yeah, let's see how fast these settings really are. Let's get into it. 
I feel like I can spin a lot quicker, but oh my gosh, are these settings fast. I can't really control them. Like, I'm just flicking around. Boys, look at how fast I spin. Look at that. That's insane. I'm just not capable of controlling these settings. They're just way too fast for me. Like, obviously, Faceway is a demon on them, but I don't know how he does it. You know, I'm starting to get used to it now that I've been on it for a few minutes. But still, I'll still mess up my edits. Like, you see that? Like, the edit speed is really the hardest thing. Like, I'm getting used to how quick I build. But I just don't think I can get used to this editing. Yeah, boys, I I'm not a fan of these settings. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate these a 3. They're so bad. But obviously, Faceway is a demon on them. So I'm not going to take away from his settings. But I just don't feel like they're very good settings for the average player. Which is why I'm going to give them a score of 3. Because they're just way too fast in every aspect. But let's move on to the next pro player. Alright, the next pro player settings that we're going to be trying out is going to be Lechi, the EU Demon. So his settings are a lot more up my alley. They resemble mine a lot more than Phase Sway's. Uh, he uses a 2.0 build and edit mode. 42-42 uh, horizontal vertical. Then he uses a 12-12 ADS. And then he uses an 8% left stick dead zone and then a 5% right stick dead zone. So these settings feel like they're going to be a lot closer to mine. So let's give them a try. After coming off face sway settings, I feel so smooth on lechies. Like they feel so slow now that I just got used to face sways. I do really like these settings, but I don't think they're better than Days or Marrows. Uh, I don't know what it is yet. I haven't figured it out, but there's just something about them that I'm not a huge fan of. I'm pretty sure it's the dead zone. I don't I don't know if I like the 5% dead zone on the right stick. Uh, just because like I have drift. Like you, as you can see, right when I stop building, look at how much drift my stick has. Like there's drift to the left, there's drift up, it's not going right now, but there's drift to the right, there's drift everywhere, and I'm pretty sure that's why it feels so weird to me. And obviously it depends on what controller you use, because some controllers will have different dead zones than other ones. Like Lechi's controller probably doesn't have a lot of stick drift on dead zone 5, but the average person's controller will. You know, my edits do feel smooth, but it's hard because like my stick drift will mess me up like i'll go to make an edit but my stick drift will drift me over there so that is the one downfall of these settings you know i do really like lechi settings and i'm not going to take off too many points because of the dead zone thing but uh it is a major problem for me so because of that i'm going to give him a lower score than marrow's so since i gave marrow an 8 i'm going to be giving lechi a 7.5 out of 10 which is still very good settings but the dead zone is just a little too low for me Alright boys, now that I'm back on my settings, it feels way smoother again, obviously because I'm used to them. But yeah, if you want to see my settings, I'm attaching a video right now, so click on that if you want to see my settings. Alright guys, so first place was Day, second place was Marrow, third place was Lechi, and in last place was actually Phase Sway. So if you guessed any of those correct, make sure you drop a comment. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. So if you want to support me a little more, make sure to use code Vizlu in the item shop because it really helps out. Also, if you made it this far in the video, drop a comment about your grandma just to confuse everybody else in the comments and so I know you watched the full video. Like for example, you could say my grandma just fell down the stairs or something funny like that. But yeah guys, that's all that I have, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.